Today's topic, continuity at a point, piecewise functions. Number one, is the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 2 and equal to negative 2x plus 7 if x is greater than 2 continuous at x is 2. Number 2, is the function f of x is equal to 5x minus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1 and equal to negative 3x plus 4 if x is less than 1 continuous at x is 1. We are going to find this out in this lesson. A function f of x is continuous at x is a if and only if the following three conditions are satisfied. Number one, f of a is defined. Number two, the limit of f of x as x approaches a exists. Number three, the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. If one or more of these three conditions fails to all that a, then the function is said to be discontinuous at a. You can trace the graph of a continuous function without lifting your pen, and the graph does not have a hole or gap. Number one, is the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 2 and equal to negative 2x plus 7 if x is greater than 2 continuous at x is 2? Let us find this out. First step, find out if f of a is defined. f of a is equal to x squared minus 1. We choose x squared minus 1 instead of negative 2x plus 7 because the equal sign appears in x squared minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 2. This means x is less than 2 or x is equal to 2. So f of 2 is equal to 2 squared minus 1. a is equal to 2. This is now equal to 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So, f of 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, f of a is defined. Second step. Find out if the limit of f of x as x approaches a exists. Letter A. The limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to the limit of the quantity x squared minus 1 as x approaches 2 from the left. Why did we choose x squared minus 1 rather than negative 2x plus 7? It is because x is approaching 2 from the left and this is x is less than or equal to 2. So this is now equal to the limit of x squared as x approaches 2 from the left minus the limit of 1 as x approaches 2 from the left. This is now equal to 2 squared minus 1. And this is now equal to 4 minus 1. 
and 4 minus 1 is 3. Letter B. The limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right. This is equal to the limit of the quantity negative 2x plus 7 as x approaches 2 from the right. Why did we choose negative 2x plus 7 rather than x squared minus 1? Because x is approaching 2 from the right and x here is greater than 2. This is now equal to the limit of negative 2x as x approaches 2 from the right plus the limit of 7 as x approaches 2 from the right. This is now equal to negative 2 times 2 plus 7 and this is now equal to negative 4 plus 7 negative 4 plus 7 is equal to 3. We can see that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right. 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 exists and it is equal to 3. Third step, find out if the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. The limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a because the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to f of 2. The limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 3 and f of 2 is also equal to 3. Since the three conditions are satisfied, then the function is continuous at x is 2. This is the graph of the function. You can trace the graph with your pen without lifting your pen. And there is no hole, there is no gap in the graph. Number two, is the function f of x is equal to 5x minus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1 and equal to negative 3x plus 4 if x is less than 1 continuous at x is 1. Let us find this out. Step number 1, find out if f of a is defined f of a is equal to 5x minus 2. We choose 5x minus 2 instead of negative 3x plus 4 because the equal sign appears in x is greater than or equal to 1. This means x is greater than 1 or x is equal to 1. This is now equal to f of 1 is equal to 5x minus 2. a is equal to 1. This is now equal to 5 times 1 minus 2. 5 times 1 minus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, f of a is defined. Step number two, find out if the limit of f of x as x approaches a exists. Letter A, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is equal to the limit of the quantity 
negative 3x plus 4 as x approaches 1 from the left. We choose negative 3x plus 4 instead of 5x minus 2 because here x is less than 1 and x is approaching 1 from the left. This is now equal to negative 3 times the limit of x as x approaches 1 from the left plus the limit of 4 as x approaches 1 from the left. This is now equal to negative 3 times 1 plus 4. And negative 3 times 1 plus 4 is equal to 1. Letter B. The limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right is equal to the limit of the quantity 5x minus 2 as x approaches 1 from the right. We choose 5x minus 2 instead of negative 3x plus 4 because here x is greater than or equal to 1. And here x is approaching 1 from the right. This is now equal to 5 times the limit of x as x approaches 1 from the right minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 1 from the right. This is now equal to 5 times 1 minus 2. And 5 times 1 minus 2 is equal to 3. We can see that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right. 1 is not equal to 3. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 does not exist. We found out that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right. And that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 does not exist. Therefore, the second condition is not satisfied. Hence, the function is discontinuous at x is 1. This is the graph of the function. We can see that there is a gap in the graph. 